What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I've been away for a minute. I apologize. I've been in the trenches fishing nonstop. It's been crazy, um, guiding nonstop. But finally, I'm back. Things are looking on the up and up. I got new lighting system. Unbelievable. I don't know if this is going to affect up affect my scuffed up quality too much. We still want to keep it scuffed up. I got a mic. Whoa. Like, I don't know. This must have cost like $14.99. I'm not sure, but anyway, my daughter got it. Um, it's really helping us move forward in a higher quality way. Anyway, today um, we're gonna have a we're gonna do a little fishing with um, George, who is the CTO Chief Tech Tech Officer of TackleBoxLottery.com. Bumped into him met him a while back. Really funny guy. Um, he knew about me through fishing. He said he's starting a new company. I said, okay, cool. He wants my input on a few things here and there. So um, we're starting out anyway. We went out fishing uh, with some of the stuff from his box. Uh, it's a Canadian box. Really cool. Really funny guy. We went walleye fishing on Rice Lake. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a really fun episode. I got no music for it, so we are keeping it pretty scuffed up and raw. But uh, you're going to see how our day went. He caught uh, a few walleye, and he also caught a lot of fish that weren't in season yet. I don't know why I didn't catch any, but he kept catching like bass and other fish. We weren't going rock bass while we were fishing for walleye. So I call him kind of like out of season George. His nickname is also Chicken F. I have no idea why. I haven't got to the bottom of that yet. One day maybe I'll find out, but he's hilarious. Before we get into that, I'm going to read a little letter that I got from uh, uh a kid named Braden Gomer, and he wrote me a really good letter today. Really cool letter. Hey, um, it reads, "Hey, Terrell, you're probably wondering why I'm writing to you." Yeah, I'm wondering. We had this activity in class on people who've influenced us, and so I chose you. If you don't remember me from Instagram and YouTube, uh, I'm known as Braden underscore Gomer slash Dalton underscore Whitetails. One lesson you taught me was perseverance. Big thing in fishing, they don't always bite. You gotta push, push, push until something budges. And you gotta go forward in a positive way. I agree with you, perseverance is so important. And uh, sometimes I gotta remind myself to persevere. So it's not easy. Um, Taro, you're the one who taught me the O-ring spinner trick. Oh, the good old, the good old O-ring spinner trick. Dad, from sliding. I know, so simple, so easy. I learned how to drop shot and so much else from you. The perseverance you taught me, uh, I'm still waiting for my first walleye. We're both fast anglers, but I'll never give up. Oh, good. I'm glad. You keep going, you're going to catch a walleye. And that's for sure. Uh, whether if it was you and Paul waiting seven hours for a perch on Lake Erie. Um, actually, it was eight hours. <laughs> eight hours we looked for a perch on Lake Erie. And we kept buckling down and we finally budged it. I don't know if it hurt us or it helped us in the end, but anyway... Um, sometimes it's not about winning or losing. It's about trying your best and giving your all and let the chips fall. And to me, sometimes that's the real winner. It's just someone who put their effort in and kept going forward in a positive way, no matter how dark things seem. <laughs> um, losing that Chinook that mattered so much in 39 hours, uh, you kept going. What a trooper. Fishing with Jay Siemens and AP Bassin, you caught that 7.5 pound smally. Just luck. But you know, uh, my line was in the water, and we just kept going, and finally something good happened. Like you said, perseverance, big thing in fishing. As the fish gods once said, big fish come to those who wait. Anyway, good luck to you. Hope you enjoy the stickers. Well, I'm going to love those stickers. I'm going to put the sticker on the boat you gave me to remind me when I'm struggling with clients and things aren't going my way, or I'm just fishing my friends, or fishing a tournament, or something like that, and it's not going my way. I'm going to look at your sticker, Braden, and say, persevere. Braden wouldn't want you to persevere. And be positive and go forward in a positive way no matter how dark things seem so thank you so much it's so nice to be reminded um you know why i fish for and what i do you know i, I don't know sometimes i don't know what what life's all about but little things like this are a reminder that you know what if i can put a smile on someone's face or help them in some way you know it gives me a reason to be here so really really nice letter you really made my day Thank you so much, Raiden. Um, you know, it's people like you that make me go 
forward even when I'm tired and delirial, you know, and, you know, I got to keep going and just be happy. And, I'm, you know, it's a good life. I'm in a good place meeting people, fishing. Wow. You know what I mean? It's not always easy. Life's full of bumps. But, uh, hey, you know what? In the, if it's life, you get bumps in life and I can put a smile on someone's face through those bumps. Well, wow. I'm blessed. Thank you so much. Really appreciate this letter, Jaden. Wow, it's legit letter. You can comment in. 100% legit. I didn't write this to myself, by the way. Um, great idea to write yourself and then make yourself look like a hero, maybe? I don't know. No, he actually wrote this to me. He took the time to do it. Thank you so much. Again, I appreciate it so much. Uh, honestly. Anyway, Brayden, um, hope you kept that walleye. But let's be in touch. Yeah, thank you so much. Anyway, uh, the guy I'm fishing with today is the CFO or CTO Chicken. Oh, no, no. Chicken. What am I saying chicken for? I oh, must be hungry. Um, Chief Technical. <laughs> Chief Technical Officer for Taco Box Lottery.com. Um, we have a funny relationship. I tease him. He teases me. So I call him the the nerd behind the cool. Really cool box. Anyway, we need George. Um, he used to be a heavyweight boxer, which is really cool. Um, super nice guy. We never know he's a tough guy. He's so funny and kind of nice. Uh, anyway, this month's box. Got a lot of cool stuff in it. Wow, tons of stuff loaded. I think they're extra extra givey right now because the box is new. Um, so he's got a live target in here. Great for Kortha Walleye, what we're doing um, coming up. Chromy, Chromy, really good. This is like the deeper lip, five to seven feet. Perfect for those early emergent weed lines in the Korthas or anywhere if you're fishing weed lines for walleye. Um, so good on the Great Lakes for trout and salmon. Honestly, so good. Chromy. Banana shape, there's the weeds like the other one, Tail Dancer, Reef Runner maybe. Um, wow, another multi-species. It's a multi-species box by the way, um, from Canada. Uh, the box is to, designed to just catch fish in general. Uh, he said they might get more specific down the road, but they're just starting out. So yeah, the new website's out in about two weeks, I believe. They have one up now, you can order from it, but it's the really rough bones of it. Uh, their first subscribers, they've been giving away, so a lottery, so their first subscribers are giving away a few reels, a $300 reel, $200 reels here and there, so they're um, generous right now. Uh, another thing they're doing is, if, I, if I'm correct, they're going to be putting a point system in, so you'll get points as you remain subscribed, you'll get more and more points, and you can enter into different type of lotteries, so it's kind of like a ticket, it's different that way, which is really cool. Um, Kalen's Grub. Wow, they put that in there. Multi-species catcher. Green pumpkin. Come on, man. Catches fish, is, catch fish everywhere. The thing I like about these grubs quickly is that even with light weight, these tails swim like crazy. Kalen got the uh, the art of the grub down into the science. This is unreal. You put a light jig and it just, you know when you put a light head on a grub that's too big, it doesn't swim so well? No, these do. Uh, the tail's just like, I don't know what they got. They must have a patent on that grub tail. Um, been catching fish since I was a little kid on those, and I still am. Uh, you know, it never gets old. The old mighty grub. They also have a Kalen's swing kind of what is it called? A Google Eye swing football jig. You can put your Guggen baits on there. Sweet beavers, Berkeley power buggy thingamajiggies, whatever. I put a pink lizard on something similar to this, and was using that with a leader for pike and some mucky water. Uh, just another multi-species catcher. George, he catches uh, everything that swims that we're not targeting really. So he would probably catch a two inch crappie on this giant hook somehow. I don't know how he does it, but watch the video, hilarious. Um, Sidewinder Acme Sidewear, phenomenal. Vertical jigging in the warmer months. Whitefish, lake trout on Lake Simcoe. Um, anywhere that has deep lake trout in the warmer months, you can vertical jig that on a calm day. Uh, good for smallies, vertical jigging. Uh, fall largemouth, vertical jigging, spoon bite, uh, trout, everything. You know what I mean? Ice fishing or open water. The old sidewinder, dangerous. So um, retro, but so good still today. Love these. They make such a great product. There's a reason why they're still so good and still so popular. Huge on Bay Quinney, by the way, this year, that sidewinder for ice fishing. People are killing them on that. Uh, I think that was, you know what told me that? was was uh, Rand Dollar. Rand Dollar Fishing, check them out. He was a, he's a big bay quinty. Check him out on YouTube, Rand Dollar Fishing. What's up, buddy? He's a friend of mine. Hilarious. Got to fish with him. Got giant walleyes on that sign winder. Hope I didn't give up too much. Anyway, um, Acme, 
Taskmaster, the smaller one. I used to use this in books for brown trout. Uh, when the current was kind of like really fast and there would be deeper pools and I couldn't get down and baits would just blow away. This thing could knife, knife right down into those pockets. I remember catching specifically a big brown when nothing else could and I couldn't get down there. Uh, great for rivers. Uh, grid anywhere, ice fishing, pan fish, vertical jigging, open water ice fishing. Um, one thing about the old cast masters is that they don't hang on the line as much. So if you're dropping down 100 feet of water, you know, and you're jigging and you get fouled and you have to bring it back up and then shake it. You can, these ones can actually really shake them off usually, or they don't hang on the line as often as other brands. So the Castmaster is almost a perfect design in my opinion. We got another big version of it in here. This is a three quarter ounce they threw in. A chartreuse in white, I think this is a glow. Oh wow, you know what I mean? Fish catcher, whitefish, lake trout, trout, uh, walleye, pike, perch, well you name it, you know. Another multi-species fish catcher, they done really good. All really good for this time of year. Love these little stormos. These are good around weed lines, uh, perch, everything that's eating these uh, smaller perch in the spring, May, June, great idea. What do you mean? All year, you're gonna catch fish on something like this, you know? Cold water, warm water, whatever. Fish are gonna eat a perch. These predators are gonna eat a perch. George, you'll probably catch a goby or a minnow smaller than this bait on it, but Anyway, like I said, multi-species catcher. He has a touch for non-targeted fish. Watch the video, unreal. Um, we've got Kaylin's bucktail hair, really light glidey stuff when you know, walleyes want to breathe it in, you know, kind of light line. But it's also good for trout, you name it. You're talking about a little bucktail jig gliding in the water, things are gonna bite it. Drum, are you kidding me? Sight fishing drum. Um, you know, the sky's the limit. Like what I do like is that they're thinking multi-species. Uh, we got Kaylin's little paddle tail toady things. I wonder if you could run, see that? It has little, little flaps on it. I wonder if you could run on the surface with a small hook and like kick up like a toad for like crappy. I mean, sometimes they eat on the surface, so that'd be cool. With a really light jig, maybe you could roll it high and go, I haven't tried it yet, so can't wait. It's a cool little bait. I love everything Kaylin's has done. Uh, crappy jigs. These little jig heads can never get enough of these. These are 1 16 Wow. Perfect little toady setup. And they also put in some Uncle Josh grass shrimps. Put that on the little jig head on a float. Wow. So good for everything. Bang, bang, bang. Fish catching machines. Jig heads. Woo wee. Short shank jig heads. And it has a little hole. And they put through the stinger hooks in there. Through the stinger hooks on in there. So you attach on that little hole for short strikes. And it's a. Uh, Great for live bait, great light short shank, perfect for the stinger hook. Regular rattle jig heads, wish we had that this day that you're gonna see when we kind of struggled early in May, I was like very early season, weeds not up. Um, little rattle heads, genius. The murky water, repel, repel a tail dancer, woo wee, orange belly, perchy perch, ooh, kind of perchy, McWarthers, kind of pan fishy, I don't know, fishy. But I was actually catching fish on one very similar to this stop and grow retrieve. So walleye that is, but you know, this is for smallies, pike, I've caught everything on this bait. Multi-species fish catcher. And another hair jig. So there you go. Tons of stuff in this tacklebox.com. Um, check out the CTO and I fishing right now uh, in this video for walleye. And let's see how we did. Uh, so check out their website in the next couple of weeks or even right now. I think uh, good things to come, man. They're really putting it out there. I think it's $50 to subscribe. Probably getting $70, $80. I'm not going to count. I don't know. But it's over $50 for sure in here. Um, that's Canadian dollars. Uh, I don't know if they're sending America yet, but they might. But that's Canadian dollars, $50. So anyway, check out the bid. George, you're hilarious. And I hope the viewers find it the same way. Uh, no music, no editing. Very scuffed up. But uh, pretty funny. Raiden Gomer, this walleye bit is for you. My guest song. today is the mighty Chicken F. Chicken M F. for mighty. That's and right. this guy is the CTO of this new company coming out. And it's going to be pretty big, I believe, called Tackle Box Lottery. So he does all the tech stuff and 
He's the man behind. Can you the... see me, or is my because like I'm all? I'm He's the nerd seat. behind the cool. Right. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going out to get some walleye. They're gonna be big, but don't worry, I'm strong like Popeye. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, so we got this. Let's Chicken do it. F, CTO. <laughs> CTO. Literally, like second cast out here, checking out some spots. One of the baits that we got in for his box. And it's a walleye. Oh my lord, so fast, bro. I didn't think there's enough weeds here. Doing a little preliminary checkout. White on. Oh, nice walleye, bud. With my shower curtain net. <laughs> look at that shower curtain. <laughs> that is scuffed up. Oh, you're the net man today. Oh, yeah, look at that. I didn't even, I was not even, I'm trying to rig up my line, bro. I can't believe it. Chicken F. You want that for din dins? A That's a good one. one. That's a good din din one. Yeah, Perfect okay. fish. Woo. So we got that on a uh, Berkeley. I think those are called Pro Shad with a Moon Eye head. Sweet fish number one. It had most to do with technique, I think. Right? I you think this guy that. has hands of stone, but <laughs> the spot must be good. <laughs> well, I tried another bait and uh, I didn't catch any. And I knew of Chicken F. He has hands of stone. He's a heavyweight boxer, this guy. In his past, he knocks people out. He's got hands of stone. So if I knew if he had hands of stone, and I went to his bait, I catch fish. And here we are, one all. Out for three hours. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> we got one, nice eater. As you can see, just not much weeds. As soon as I go to the right, the weed line is normally there. What is that? Smally. Oh, boo. Chicken out. Fishing out of season like that. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> it's not a bad size. Stone hands catches out of season fish steady. <laughs> Same area though. There's life at least, you know. Any life in the spring, early spring is good, you know. Chicken out, frog species, poacher. <laughs> I'm indiscriminate, man. I'm indiscriminate. I don't discriminate against fish. Hammer them all. Come on. <laughs> uh, woo. Yeah, baby. Get the Hammer ball them. rolling with the low hanging fruit. You like low hanging rotten fruit. Yeah. You're a rotten apple yourself, chicken <laughs> app. Yeah. We got Taro. He finally got one. I got one on chicken app's jig. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. And it is. 2 1, buddy. 2-1? Yeah. What about my bass? Thanks for teaching me that jig was good. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find these baits in the... Um, this is going to be out of the slot too big, I think. Uh, it's a little risky, okay. I think so. Can I eat this one? Okay. But same thing, those like... Those weed lines are just starting to come up. It's subtle, eh? Just a little bit of weed. There's no de definition on the line. Fish seem kind of scattered. But uh, you get these bucks in, in your tackle box lottery? Walleye box? I think so. Yeah. You know, you can find a lot of this stuff in there. Great bait. We're gonna all put. You're gonna put only the best stuff that works, right? That George it's, picks. Yeah. Right. Stone hands pick right there. <laughs> right. It's for guys with stone hands like me. Anybody. Can catch anybody up. can catch up with that. <laughs> if I can catch up, anyone can catch up. <laughs> There's no wood in the entire lake. The good old stone hands finds this random piece, and no fish in it. Oh, it's a giant. Woodmaster over here. There it is. I went to a smaller bait, a little Z Man's kind of panfish bait. And I just put three in a row. There might be something to this, man. We were struggling with the bigger, heavier quarter ounce. I got like an eight ounce on now. There you have it, Giorgio. A little play with the presentation, and we're back in it. Don't know if this one's keepable, but I'll just show the bait to you. An eight ounce Z Man, little swim bait. Eight down, slight line. Bang, got three fish in a row. I don't know. George claims he got a crappie, but here's another sunfish. I don't see any crappie on camera yet. Wrong species, George. Here he goes again. <laughs> George, 
It's another of season bass Chris, on camera. Why are you? Doing, <laughs> why don't you take videos of the ones that I? That you did catch a crap eye. I did get a crap eye. If that's a crappie, it's a world record. George, do you love fishing with me? I love fishing with you when I, I catch stuff. I love fishing stuff. with you, man. I like catching with you, not fishing with you. That's not nice. It's about the time. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Is that a crappie? Wah, wah. No, it is a crappie. Oh, Large mouth. Hit. Out of season, George. I'm, well, I'm up you to there. Can't. Oh, my God. Out of season. The multi-species yeah. out of season angler featuring chicken F. Nice one, George. Yeah. Too bad you're fishing them all out of season. What's next? A muskie? <laughs> <laughs> He's caught rare birds. We had to throw those back as well. <laughs> and rare wood. <laughs> out of season, George does it again. <laughs> Need some help you know? with that crap eye? That ain't no crap eye. We're looking for crappy again, and George says he's got one. But again, I'm the a master king. of the wrong species. No, that's that's me, man. Oh, yeah. that make... We're looking for crap eye, and he caught rock lord. You're a genius. I'm all over the bass. I'm bass oh. by the bob. No. I'm not going to lie. It's been hard. Ever since George caught that spinning rock bass, we've been struggling. Went to like 10 spots and caught nothing. And finally, I caught a perch, a jumbo perch. So, yeah, we might eat this one, but... I don't know. This might be a bad omen too. <laughs> it's been a struggle, George. Blame me. Yeah, I'm it's a your tech fault. guy. Are they going? Yeah, they're going. Wow. I think Taro's got another one. I think here. it's a walleye. Yeah, I thought we'd get a bigger one here because we're near an island. So like, um, you can have a tendency to catch fish out of the slot early in the spring when you're fishing near the islands because they, they use those this is definitely a female bigger fish out of the slot limit here in the cohorts is definitely out of the slot yeah. chunky female you can see that depth nice, yeah. female right nice fish so i thought you know when one of my old gps locations again those weeds are really up we're just fishing like where the weeds kind of start and start to grow a little bit so they're scattered the fish for sure we haven't got too many mul we didn't get multiples no. in one spot really no. but we're moving around a lot yeah. I'm looking at a lot of spots where I spent too much time, but you know, it's one here, one there kind of thing. Yeah. I think it's because of that weed line growth. There's probably 10 patterns going on. This may not be the best one, but uh, we're having fun. We're having fun. You know, it's around, sunny. Giorgio. Yeah. I love fishing with you, Giorgio. So let's get yeah, this right. hen back in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and this was on a pinky. I just knocked the eyeball off my jig head quarter ounce and this is uh i don't know what this is some type of paddle tail by some company but it's good <laughs> well my my first day out here it was a struggle we got just under 10 walleye george unloaded on uh we got two crappy he unloaded on a bunch of out of season fish he got uh i don't know small mouth large mouth large mouth Smallmouth, all kinds of undersized stuff, season, spinning bro. rock bass, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. We struggled. It was different. A little smaller bait seemed to be the deal, like I said. And uh, oh no, I got clients tomorrow. It doesn't look good. Peace. See you later. Taco Box Lottery Tech Support. Any messages for the viewers? It's gonna Here be. A, it's gonna be a great site. We're gonna put everything multi-species so you can even catch things out of season. <laughs> put them back, cause that's where I excelled today. I caught only one in season and one out of season. So we'll be, have special out of season boxes for all you too. All right? All right, George. Okay. Hope you don't get charged cause of this video. Peace. <laughs>